Hi friends, welcome back to Masters of Chemistry. We are studying the solid state reaction from physical chemistry. In the previous video session, we are introduced briefly the thermal analysis and what is the role of thermal analysis in the solid state reaction already we seen. So in this particular video session, we are going to deal with the one of the method of thermal analysis that is thermogrammetric analysis in short it is called as TGA so today's video we are going to cover the general introduction to TGA types of or classification of TGA principle behind the thermogrammetric analysis factor affecting on TGA and instrumentation and theory of TGA and lastly we sum of the application of thermogrammetric analysis so if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for further notification so let's start to study in detail what is meant by thermogrammetric analysis generally the thermogrammetric analysis is the method of thermal analysis in which change in mass or change in weight of the sample is measured over the time as change in temperature so that meaning is that the we can apply the temperature to a sample with increasing or decreasing order and change in weight of the sample can be determined by using this TGA technique. Now question arises so, so after measuring the change in weight of the sample what we can be observed from this method. So the basic principle observed from this method is some of the we can study some of the physical phenomena as well as some of the chemical phenomena. In physical phenomena we observe the uh, phase transition adsorption phenomena absorption phenomena and desorption also we can be studied from this uh, technique now uh, what are the chemical phenomena we can observe so from chemical phenomena point of view we can study the thermal decomposition at what temperature the decomposition of the sample takes place that we are going to study solid gas reaction that means at what temperature the solid the evaporating substance present in the solid is you get evaporated and reaction and the chemical absorption we can observe from this method now let's see some of the classification or type of thermogrammetric analysis generally the thermogrammetric analysis are classified into three types first one is the dynamic thermogrammetric analysis second one is the static tga third one is the quasi static tga now let's see one by one what this mean the first one is the dynamic tga so the name itself indicates that dynamic means we can apply the temperature to a sample with increasing order and as the temperature increases the change in mass of the sample is recorded now what we get from this method means from this maker method we can determine at how much gas is evolved from this solid and what temperature the gas is evolved so the meaning general meaning from this TJ dynamic TJ means we can take a sample and we apply the increasing order temperature and what temperature the gas is evolution takes place that we are going to observe and how much um, quantity of gas is evolved from this substance that we are going to uh, observe in this dynamic TGA. Now the second method uh, second type of uh, TGA is static TGA in this also the name itself indicates static means at constant temperature so we heat the sam given sample at constant temperature and change in mass of the sample is recorded so from this method we can observe that the thermal stability and decomposition of the sample at what temperature the sample gets stabilizes stabilized means there is no change in weight of the sample or, or either decrease or increasing weight of the sample that we call as thermal stability Third, third type is quasi static TGA so in this method sample is heated at different rate or different interval of temperature and at what temperature the sample stabilizes that can be observed so from this method we can apply the temperature with different interval different interval of time and at what temperature there is no increase or decrease in weight of the sample get, can be recorded so what we get from this method means from this method we can observe or determine this uh, substance which are known to be decomposed at different temperature if we have a sample which have a ability or which have a quality to decompose at which, uh, which temperature but we don't know at what temperature it get exactly decomposition takes place so from this method we can determine exactly at what temperature the sample get decomposition now the let's see some basic principle behind the 
thermogrammetric analysis. So the in thermogrammetric analysis, the sample is placed over a pan and it is continuously heated by using a furnace and the temperature of this furnace is controlled by using the thermocouple. Now the sample is heated at a different temperature at carrier gas environment. So some of the carrier gas, so sometimes we use the reactive carrier gas and sometimes we use the inert carrier gas. Inert means the, it does not be react with any other gases. So why we use this carrier gas means we because uh, we know that when the thermal reaction takes place in the sample or in the solid, they evolve the gases, some of the evaporating substance present in the solid which, uh, which emit from this solid material after emission this carrier gas react with this uh, evolved gases and it can be it can be exhausted from the system so this is the main role of carrier gas so we use nitrogen uh, nitrogen oxide helium argon or air also used sometime as a carrier gas so after the change in weight of the sample is recording the graph is plotted as change in weight of the sample against the change in temperature or time now this is the uh, typical represent and the instrument in which the thermogrammetric analysis is performed uh, so that is called as thermogrammetric analyzer and the graph that we plotted as change in mass of the sample against the temperature that graph we called as thermogrammetric curve or thermogram so this is the typical representation of thermogram so in this graph we can clearly observe that uh, from temperature 0 degree celsius to 500 degree celsius there is there is no change in sample is recorded but as the temperature increases from 500 to um, that is 900 degree celsius there is gradual increase in uh, that is decrease in weight of the sample is observed after that from uh, 900 to 1200 degree celsius the weight of the sample is remain constant so this is the weight of the sample which is remain constant so that we are going to be study from tga method now let's see some of the curves and what the, what will be they give the information regarding the weight of the sample or nature of the sample so in the first graph we can observe that in the first day this is the linear graph that means there is no change in weight of the sample is recorded so in the second graph we can observe that in the second graph small desorption or drying of the sample is takes place after the application of temperature so in the third graph the single step so the curve is down that uh, tells that the single step decomposition is takes place so in the fourth graph the multiple decomposition is takes place at multiple stages and in the fourth graph okay we see that the multiple decomposition takes place and the fifth graph is intermediate is formation and the heat is very fastly applied sixth graph is the atmospheric change in the action takes place and the last one is the product decomposition takes place at very high temperature so that we are going to be study from this seventh graph now let's see some instrumentation on theory of tga so the tga basic instrumentation consists of tga a uh, balance recorder so the balance recorder so this is the balance recorder sample holder so this is the sample holder furnace so this is the furnace temperature programmer or temperature control so we have to control the temperature inside the system that's why you use the thermocouple which is placed above the furnace and the recorder which record the change in weight of the sample now the basic theory behind the uh, thermogrammetric analysis is that first the sample is placed in a pan so this is a pan over the pan the sample is placed sometimes we use the crucible for the, instead of pan when the quantity of the sample is more and the pan is connected to a balance to measure the change in weight of the sample okay now the heat is applied by using this furnace the main use of furnace is the heat is applied in evenly in the sample and the to control the change in uh, temperature of the sample we can use the thermocouple for uh, controlling the or to apply the program temperature under this the carrier gas is uh, exhausted inside the system because the carrier gas uh, plays a very important role when the thermal reaction takes place between the solid and the temperature 
so that the gases are evolved from this solid and this gases will exhausted by using this carrier gas out of the system so after weight of the sample is changes so that the graph is plotted against the change in weight of the sample sample against the change in temperature so that we call as thermogram so from this graph we can observe some of the physical properties as well as chemical properties of the sample that is phase transition how the phase transition takes place at what temperature the sample is decomposed so that we are going to study from this method now let's say this is the typical uh, tga instrumentation which are generally used in uh, chemical industries for measuring the uh, change in weight of the sample so here is the pan over which the sample is placed and this is the uh, the thermocouple from this we can uh, control the temperature and this is the display over which we can observe the change in samples ability of sample materials now let's see some of the factors which are mainly effect on the tga so there are two kind of factors which are generally effect on tga first one is the instrumental factor and second one is the sample characteristic factor in instrumental factor we have two factors one is furnace heating rate so mainly the tga method depends upon the heating of uh, heating rate of the furnace at what rate the furnace is heating and atmosphere of furnace and in sample characteristic weight of the sample and sample particle size is generally affected on tga so some of the applications of tga are so the principal use of tca is to use the you know, used to measure the thermal stability and thermal stability means at what temperature uh, the decomposition of this sample is takes place so that we are going to measure by using this technique and decomposition of the sample obviously we can be measured second one is the stability of uh, the study of sublimation behavior of various substances so how the sublimation behavior changes with change in temperature so that we are going to be study from this method and third one is the oxidative stability of material and fourth one is a, it is also used to study the kinetics of the react chemical reaction so at what rate the reaction is takes place at what temperature the decomposition of the uh, material takes place so that reactant takes place that we are going to study from this method and it is also used to uh, determine or estimate the lifetime of the product so these are the instrumentation theory principle and are some factor affecting on tga and application of uh, thermogrammetric analysis uh, in the in the next video we are going to discuss the another method of uh, thermal analysis second method is that is dta differential thermal analysis so that we are going to cover in the next video